Thank you so much for joining me in this video. This is the first time I'm trying picture in picture. I have two cameras now that I can film with, so I thought I'd give this a try. Uh, the channels I enjoy watching, especially when they're showing off cards and stuff, have the two cameras, so uh, I thought I would add that element as well, and you would enjoy that. So thanks for sticking with me in this experiment, the first time doing it. Hopefully it works out well. But enough about that, let's take a look at some cards that we got this week. So we bought several lots on eBay, of course. Um, as soon as Brady was out of the playoffs, I started looking online to see if I could find some deals. I figured there'd be sellers um, once the season ends, and I wasn't wrong. So I got quite a bit here. I have a lot of singles, big stack of singles here. Two big boxes on another lot that I bought. It's not all Brady stuff, but a good portion of it is. So let's dig in and see what we got. So this first lot, kind of interesting, the seller used duct tape to package the uh, the two packs together, but everything's top loaded, looks to be in good condition, so uh, I'm not too worried about it, but just thought that was interesting. Now, um, I can get the cards out with remo removing the duct tape, which is nice. So let's see what we got here. We've got, this is a premier level. 2021 Brady out of select. This is a 2021 Elite Base. Uh, this is nice. Illusions. It's the hobby. So these just came out. Uh, it's the, I know it's the hobby because of the gold foil. It's a little bit thicker. Um, a Hot Stars. So this is HS1. There are two different Brady Hot Stars cards. And I sold all my HS1s to one buyer. Um, but two weeks ago. I'm not sure if that was in a video or not, but I had somebody buy them all, so I'm, I was happy to get a few to replace it. This is the uh, Retro Series. I do not have one of those in store. And then a couple of the Dominators from Donruss. Everybody likes shiny um, patterned cards, so these these were uh, something that I like to, to have. They do okay in the store. Alright, and then the second half of this lot, there's a purple die cut, and that's the Concourse Prism, out of, I think this is 2020 though, 2021, it's 2021, and then a 2018 Prism base, can't go wrong with Prisms, here's another one of those Hot Stars 1, so that should be an HS1 on the back, it is. And then a field level uh, 2021 select. Here's a 2020. This is, oh no, that's 2021 too. Elite. Hard to keep track of them all. This is a 2021 certified. So this is an all, all a lot of 2021, I believe. This one, this is actually 2018, and this is a um, an elite series out of Donruss. I always really like these cards. I thought the design was nice. The kind of the marble uh, pattern on the borders with the shine in the middle of it. And the nice pattern in the background. Uh, very nice looking cards. And then a couple more select. One of these is a Premier and one is a Concourse. So I had also sold my entire uh, inventory of Concourse uh, base select recently so again good to replace a few of those okay then we've got this little lot here more Brady stuff thick top loader for this one you gotta kinda figure out how to slide them out of here I'm not a big fan of the cards all being shoved into a single top load. Oh man, I can't even get them out. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Okay. So this is what we got in this lot. This is a finest. Finest stuff does really well. It's 2012 finest. And then an optic. I think this is 19. Yep, 19 optic. These I like. Absolute has a, a you know base non-shiny card, which I don't think is very exciting. But I really like the 
if you want to call it a refractor or prism, or, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, but I really like these. I'd had one in stock before, so I priced it pretty high, and it sold, so uh, when I saw this, I thought, okay, well, that's that's something that I would like to, to add, and then a contender's winning ticket, just the base version. It's a nice lot there. This one I bought, this is a Favre Jets variation out of 2008 Tops. I was buying these on occasion when I could get them for a good deal, six, seven dollars, and then I was selling them for I think thirty-five, and I had I was up to like four or five of them, and somebody bought all of them uh, last week or two weeks ago, so I found this one, ten bucks, free shipping. I thought it was a pretty pretty good buy. I'll list it, and uh, it was pretty well centered. Corners are nice. Um, probably up the price a little bit, maybe go to forty. On this one, since it's the only one I have in stock, and just see how we do with it. But at ten dollars, it was an it was a no-brainer for me. Pick that up. These, this is my favorite insert of the year so far, other than of course you know downtowns and kabooms and short print stuff. But these aren't extremely short print. There's a bunch of different color variations, and there are uh, numbered versions of these cards. But these are just the the white border base but this is the king of cards cards out of illusions so if you put it in front of a background you can see it a little a little bit better all the details but it, it's a clear acetate card with some gold foil on it um, three different pictures of the player which I really like it's got a nice headshot in the middle um, sort of a close-up action shot game shot on the bottom and then a complete body shot on the top so very nice cards the uh, King of Cards has the the writing that goes with the team colors. Just just really super nice, super nice cards. Anyway, so I bought a lot of four of these. It had Marino, Mahomes, Kyler Murray, and Tom Brady, of course. I just thought it was a pretty good deal for all four of them for big name players, and. Uh, Really wanted to get some and, and kind of see how they do in the store, so I'll be listing those. Next Brady lot. I think this is like 17 cards, I want to say. Oh, this two don't go in there. Um, so some earlier Brady stuff, which is always my favorite buy. Does the best. This is an 04, I think. Yeah, 04. Um, Fleer inscribed. Nice looking very clean cards, white border, nice matte background, and then a shiny player picture. And I think this is 05, yeah, this is 05, uh, Topps Draft Picks. Don't have any of these in the store, so I always like to buy pretty much anything that I don't have, of course. Here's a 05, I think, yeah, 05 Topps base, Topps base stuff always does well. Just sold a pile of these the other day, six or seven of them. Actually, in fact, I think I sold my entire inventory of this 06 Fleer. It's another good one to add. Here's an 07 Tops. Hard to find in really good condition with the black borders and stuff. This one isn't bad, though. And this is the regular version 28. There's also a team set version, but this is just the regular pack pulled one. And then we've got a uh, 08 Classics. Can't go wrong with some classics. The 12 Prestige. So I like these buying cards from these years. They just weren't that highly printed. Um, so there's always going to be some kind of demand, at least for the Brady cards from these sets. 14 Fire, one of my favorite sets of all time. It's a Elite Series insert out of 15 Donruss. 16 Donruss base. Those do well. Uh, here's a 16 Prestige, a 17 Prestige, and then a Ticket Draft out of 17, and then this is a 18 score. Uh, Crown Royale, these always do well. I, I just got a pile of these in, four or five of them, a couple weeks ago, and they're all sold already, so I was happy to, to get another one of those in. This is a, the Tops Super Bowl Champions card. Patriots fans eat this one up. 
and then a fantasy stars purple out of score nice looking little low end insert there that's a nice slot came in a snap box I like to use these when I have a big pile of auctions that sell um, I don't want to use any expensive packaging on 99 cent auctions so they work really well for that here's another um, card where I had a few in stock and I just recently sold one so happy to to get another one of these in not sure why there's tape right here but uh, this is a 2009 finest I want to say yeah 2009 finest but it, it's a refractor but it's actually the green oh no the blue refractor this is the blue refractor so it's numbered out of 429 but the the 2009 finest refractors have been selling super well uh, there isn't a lot of far stuff in a Minnesota uniform and um, you know refractors and finest and that kind of thing is a, a popular set so it's happy to get that for a good price and this is for the PC of course it'll be listed for sale as well always looking to upgrade so um, but this is the 97 contenders the black pennant die cut PSA 9 these are actually pretty hard to grade the the pennant is felt there's some foil that goes to the edges so there's a lot of edge chipping there's foil all the way around the border there's the die cut in here they're just uh, they're, they're not easy to grade um, I think this was low pop too I think it's like a pop 5 or something they just look so nice um, encased besides so even if it never sells and it stays in my PC I'm happy to have it so good one there Barf stuff has really picked up recently. I don't know if it's because um, Rodgers didn't look very good in his playoff game, so people are running back to, to buy up Farf stuff instead. I don't I don't know, but Farf stuff has picked up. Um, I haven't sold any Rodgers stuff since since the game. Not a shocker there. Now, this is just a little top slot, and uh, I got a couple of 2014 top space here. And then an 05 turn back the clock. These, these are not hard cards to get, but they always sell well for some reason. I think they just, just because they look like an old timey card. Um, but the real prize was this 04 tops. 04 tops is just not in big supply. Um, I do pretty well with any of the early year Brady tops stuff. And I don't have any 04 tops in inventory, so I picked that up. That one's not part of it either. I had just a bunch of stuff stacked together over the past week. Uh, I was busy with other things, so I just kind of got tossed aside. Hence why I decided to make a video. I had plenty of stuff to make content. Okay, this is another Brady lot. I not peel these apart yet, so I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so we've got nothing spectacular here, but um, a good buy, good price. I always look to spend about a dollar a piece on Brady lots, you know, unless of course there's something special in it. But when I'm looking at just base common cards, buck a piece, I know I can get a return on them that way. This one's cool. It's Don the uh, Gridiron Kings version, so it's kind of it's got that like canvas type texture to it and this is a 2021 Donruss insert don't have any of those so that was good here's a absolute I think this is 17 18 absolute score captains 19 Donruss absolute base so here you can see the the regular version of the card versus that foil one I showed earlier drastic difference in how cool they look so Hence the chase of the foil. This is the um, Donruss Highlights Parallel, or Insert, I believe it is. Yeah, it's the Highlights Insert from 2021 Donruss. And then a couple of the different Donruss variations. This is the, or this is the base, and then this is the Patriots Uniform card. Donruss stuff just does pretty well. It's affordable. Um, people collect it. 
So I just keep picking it up if I can find it for a good deal. Okay, here's a couple more illusions. These, I believe, are the retail version. 2021. I don't don't mind the retail version, but I prefer the hobby quite a bit more. The, the retail version is always very dark, it seems. And you'll see that here. So, without the gold foil and stuff on it, it just really darkens up the card. You can barely read the team name. It's Buccaneers up there. You can barely read that. So, But anyway, um, so one of the things I like to do when a brand new product comes out is try to find a big lot of the base, the inserts, you know, whatever whatever comes out of it. Try to find a good size lot so that I can just get a chunk of stock at a good price all, all at one time. One listing, it's easy to, uh, to put together, stick them all in the drawer, and just pull them as they sell. So I was fortunate to get some, a nice little lot of this year's illusions. This is a far red parallel from 15 certified. The Immortals uh, card theme, I think, was how they did it. They, they were kind of done by themes, but anyway, this is numbered out of 99. Let's pick this up for the PC. Very inexpensive, nice looking card. I, I like that kind of explosion background type stuff. Nice shine. So pick that up. This is an O. Oh, this was a lot of O2 stuff, I believe. Yeah, this is a lot of O2 Brady. So I got a Donruss, a uh, red and red Heritage. There's also a red and yellow version. Just sold a couple of those yesterday or two days ago, maybe. This one's in pretty good shape. They're they're kind of hard to find. It's got a little bit of a mark up there, but. Hard to find in good shape because they're just a cardboard card, paper stock, whatever you want to call it. This is an O2 Tops, first year Tops, Brady, and it's the real O2, not the 2010 reprints. Um, these these continue to sell well, 15, 16 bucks all day long, and then an O2 Ultra. I've sold quite a few of these in the past. Um, I don't have any in stock right now, so that's a nice one to add there. I also did not have any O2 Donruss, so that was kind of the motivation for this lot was um, it's stuff that sells, it's O2, and it's a couple of the O2 ones that I actually don't have any of right now. Okay, moving right along, here's the next lot, and it's more Brady stuff, so hope you're not getting bored of Brady because there's plenty, plenty to go here. Caught in the bag. All right, there we go. Okay, so another big old thick holder. Now this one, it's okay because the the top load that the seller used is actually big enough to house this many numbers of cards, so it's not all just shoved in there, uh, which is where you have a problem. This is 05 Gridiron Gear, so again, some more early Brady stuff. This is 04 Flare, I want to say. 03 Flare. I, I think I just recently sold my last one of these. Uh, Sweet Spot. I don't know. That was one of my favorite sets back in the day. This is 05. Sweet Spot was kind of um, cool. They had the. Uh, it was kind of baseball. You know, started with baseball where you would have like a piece of leather that looked like a baseball and then the player would sign on that. So in football, what they did was like a little 3D replica helmet. Um, in the middle of the card and then the player would sign on the helmet. Just very cool unique pieces. So it wasn't like actual memorabilia or anything but just it was a nice, it was a nice way to get an autograph and, and display the card. The card always looked nice. This is an 05 uh, tops total but it's the gray border, the silver border. Those are actually pretty tough to get a hold of. Looks nice with the, almost matches the team colors there with the silver on the helmet and stuff. Good looking card. These are really like this was the All American. It's supposed to look like a card from one of the old sets. I don't remember what set, but uh, I'm sure one of you knows. This is from 03, so again, early Brady. I like that. And then another tops total. This is just the base version. So now you can see here this this is the silver border, and then this is the base with the white border. It's a really nice lot there. 
stuff I don't have in stock. Early Brady's, all winners. All right. I think Brady will be back next year, so um, I don't think we're going to see a big change in card values or anything like that in the near future, but I guess we'll find out. So here's another O2. This is Fleer Focus. Do have a few of these in stock, but they do sell too. Early SPX does well. This is 05. Nice looking cards with the shine. Another O2, Absolute Memorabilia. It's a couple of 07 classics. Nice looking cards there. And this one I was excited to get. I have I've never had one of these. I don't certainly don't have any in stock now. This is 05. Bowman's best. It's one of my favorite years for them for design. So I don't know if you can tell, but um, the border is kind of team colored. So you get that blue that matches the Brady jersey. But if you can tell, the inside border of the card is actually a field goal post. So I pointed that out to a collector the other day. He said, I've been looking at those cards for years and never noticed that. So I thought I'd point it out in the video here. But I always thought it was a really cool design. Just to kind of give it some pattern. It, it frames out the player nice because you have this nice you know, sort of rectangular um, inside frame and just really nice cards. So I don't know if they'll sell for a lot, but I'll, I'll probably price mine a little high just because I, I really like it. I think uh, I think it should do well. Find out, I guess. Right, another Brady lot here. Um, just some more common stuff. This is a Crusade out of Prism Draft. I always like the design of those cards, too. So 06, I think, score. Not a 19 score, but it's supposed to look like the 89 score. I got a bunch of these. They do sell here and there. Um, this is Elite out of 16. Uh, they do Elite stuff does does pretty well. It's a it's a mid tier product. Here's another one of those Elite insert versions from Donruss. It's 15 Donruss. And this is the main reason I bought this lot. This is a first year optic. Uh, I don't have any of these anymore. I sold the one that I had. Got pretty good money for it. So this card alone was worth buying this lot. 17 certified cuts. And then a captain's score. A uh, subset out of 18. Not really an insert, just kind of a a card in, this, in the set that features captains from teams. So a pretty good lot there. All right, then we're down to the last few of the singles lots, and I'll just show you a little bit about what's in the boxes here. So another large top loader shipment. I do use the large top loads for my own shipments. Um, however, I make sure that they're big enough for whatever I'm sending. So there's a couple. There's uh, three packs here, three top loads worth of cards. First one, pretty simple, just the 20 contenders. They do okay. So playoff prime, or tops prime. This is nice, it's the thick version. It's a little harder to pull. Uh, I really like this one. This is a uh, sweet spot. As you know, I had an affinity for sweet spot when it came out. And then this is a like a draft version, so it's got him in the Wolverines uniform and then an SPX. Michigan uniform. This is a 2011 certified, but I kind of wanted to buy this lot mainly for this card because I know this is a parallel. I think this is like red, um, not mirror red, but like certified red or something like that. I've seen them kind of sell different prices around the board. It's not numbered or anything. It's not serial numbered. I think the blue one is serial numbered, but. Uh, it's got the nice uh, foil. It's got this sort of like blasty foil pack pattern background. Never had one before, so I thought it would be a fun thing to add. And then the next chunk here is an 08 Tops. Uh, this is the MVP, his MVP card in the set. And a bunch of these 11 contenders. Again, a fairly low printed year. So it's nice to have a few of those. 
I think Brady stuff will always be sought after, so anything I can get that I don't have is, I believe, is worth having, even if it has to sit for a while. Okay, here's a 2010 Gridiron Gear. Uh, a couple of 09 Bowmans, 09 Bowman. I just sold the orange or red parallel version of this this week. And then a couple of base 08 Brady's, um, card number three. These these did really well for a while, like top space Brady stuff was huge, and then it sort of fizzled a bit. I haven't sold a lot lately, um, but that also means that I can buy them. They're out there, available for a decent buy, so I'm trying to stock a few of those up. But a couple of these, I had somebody buy all of my, I had like 40 of these, and somebody bought all of them. The Superman Favs. And then also the Trophy Collection one, which is much more rare. It's got the Trophy Collection on the bottom here. It's got that Dufex foil effects to it, so those will do well. Um, got them pretty cheap, so I was happy about that. It's a first year finest far. It's in good shape. These are getting harder and harder to find. A lot of people have put together the set of these since it was such a, a the time groundbreaking, you know, first chromium cards, if you will. This one I sort of bought on accident, but then I didn't really regret it uh, once I did. Um, I didn't know this was a jumbo card, which jumbo cards are not really my thing. But I think it's going to look really cool displayed, like on a stand or something. It's got a game-used piece of football in it. It's from Crown Royale 2001. Really nice shine. Um... Gold foil on the bottom, nice thick stock. Just a really cool looking card. It got it pretty darn cheap, especially considering it's got game used material in it. Um, I do not have one of these, so this will just stay in the PC. Uh, especially as jumbo cards just, just don't do well in the secondary market and they're pain to ship and all that good stuff. So that's for me. This one, this last one here, has a very, I think, an interesting story. So I saw this on eBay. These go for pretty good money. Um, the bazooka cards are very popular. If you follow them in basketball, they, they're they picking up in football as well. In this one, um, I had one of these, a PSA 10, one of these, and I sold it for a lot, like $110, $120, something like that. So I've been looking for one to replace it. And I found this one, and it was $39, buy it now on eBay. And so I couldn't click on it fast enough to buy it. And as soon as I clicked on it, it was gone. It was said it was sold. But I looked who the seller was, and it was Four Sharp Corners, which has a website that they sell their cards on as well. And I thought, oh, geez, let me, I'm going to race over there and see if they got it. They also price them cheaper if you buy them directly from them. So they, they still had it listed on there for 35 So I thought, okay, well, I'm going to try to check out. Maybe I can beat the eBay buyer in the checkout and, and snag this one. And uh, I got it, and obviously, here it is. So um, I was really excited about that. So I don't know what happened at the eBay auction, if they had to cancel it or if they maybe they had more than one. I'm not sure. Um, but I love these, the comic comic cards. Thin paper um, inserts in the, in the packs. A lot of people tossed them. Uh, pretty hard to gem. They were easy to get, you know, creased or, or damaged on the card since they're just little slips of paper. Um, but amazing card to add to the PC. And then last but not least, and I'm not going to go through a lot of this because it's uh, pretty boring stuff actually, just mainly filler, but this is a lot of 655 Favre cards. Um, nothing super high end, mainly just, you know, common stuff. Auction fillers essentially for me. I auction this type of stuff. I sell, you know, 100 to 200 cards of it each month. Um, auctions are free, you know, I get a chunk of auctions free every month, 500 auctions. So I just love getting this stuff and, and flipping it. I paid a little over, I think, 16 cents a card. So um, definitely make some uh, some money on these. Of course, if I, you know, get a big bulk order from someone and they, they buy out stock on, um, you know, one of these base cards, then of course I can use them to fill um, in the store as well if I need to, but more than likely those will just be in auction. So that's it. Lots of mail 
this week. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the picture-in-picture -picture experience. I'm going to keep that going, as well, assuming it works well um, once I upload this. But uh, that's it. We'll see you again soon.